नमस्ते प्रणाम गीता ध्यान ओ पार्थाय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणेन स्वयं व्यासेन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्ये महाभारत अद्वैता मृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायि अंबत्वासंदा भगवदगीते भवद्वेषिणी ओ भगवदगीता विथ विच लॉर्ड नारायण हिमसेल्फ गेव एनलाइटनमेंट टू पार्थ द एंशंट सेच व्यास इंक्लूडेड इट इन द महाभारत ओ गॉडेस शावर ऑफ द नेक्टर लाइक नॉलेज ऑफ नॉन डिजम कंटेंट इन योर एटीन चैप्टर्स ओ माई एफेक्शनेट मदर द डिस्ट्रॉयर ऑफ री बर्थ आई मेडिटेट अपॉन दी कृष्ण वंदना वसुदेव सुत देव कंस चाणूर मर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गुरु सन ऑफ वसुदेव the slayer of kansa and chanur extreme delight for mother devaki o lord krishna the supreme teacher of the universe my salutations to you our reading from shrimad bhagavad gita the 18th adhyay moksha sanyasa yoga and shri krishna is now going to tell us something about how a person how a human being Uh, attains perfection while performing the duties that are allocated to him while performing the duties not not just like a time pass not just like oh it has that work has come to me somehow let me finish no but devotedly abhirata by great involvement by involvement in a sense not getting attached but completely devoted to doing that work doing it wholeheartedly earnestly doing it most sincerely the person gets perfection in doing whatever is the ultimate goal not only just doing the end end result of that uh, task that uh, person is working upon but the ultimate result the ultimate objective of the human life for that matter so shri krishna has told us that sve 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 karmani abhirataha whichever work sve sve is one's own one's own one's own work that has come who performs devotedly san siddhim labhate na raha while performing the work that has come to one's lord devotedly wholeheartedly a person attains perfection san siddhim labhate na raha person attains perfection svakarma nirataha siddhim yatha vindanti now getting engaged in the one's work devotedly how one attains perfection that shri krishna is going to tell us yatha vindanti ta shrunu you listen to me listen from me how one gets to perfection while performing one's duties with the duties that has that has come to one's lot that is fallen to one's lap the tasks the projects the assignments that have fallen to one's task when one starts performing them performing them in a devoted manner how the person reaches perfection siddhim yatha vindanti how he attains the perfection listen from me and now shri krishna is going to tell us the secret behind this doing the work and shri krishna always he has been telling us don't run away don't shy away from doing the work that has come to you accept it boldly accept it happily accept it wholeheartedly yes this is the lord's opportunity now having come to given that opportunity how one should work how one should work devotedly that now shri krishna is going to tell us from this uh, 46th shloka onwards यतप्रवृत्तिर्भूतानाम हाउ दैट सीक्रेट दैट इज दैट दैट गोल्डन सीक्रेट फॉर दैट मैटर दैट श्री कृष्ण इज नाउ गोइंग टू टेल अस 
यथा प्रवृत्ति भूताना भूताना प्रवृत्ति यथा फ्रॉम होम दिस एंटायर यूनिवर्स हैज प्रोजेक्टेड हैज इवॉल्ड ही फ्रॉम होम दिस एंटायर क्रिएशन इज इवॉल्ड यथा प्रवृत्ति भूताना येन सर्वद तत्म एंड बाय हूम दिस एंटायर क्रिएशन इज परवेडेड From whom this whole thing has come into existence, and who is pervading this entire existence? Whatever creation has come up, whatever this prakriti has been projected from that ultimate purusha, from that parama purusha. Yatha hmm? pravrtir bhuta na yena sarvamidam tatam. He who is pervading this entire creation, Sri Krishna has told us. that the lord the ultimate lord he is existing in each and every particle of this existence of this creation of this universe whether it is a mighty form of any big animal or a tiny speck of dust that ultimate principle that parama purusha that para brahman is pervading each and every part of this creation yena sarvam idam tatam he is perfect in each and everything of this universe that being is there that ultimate being he is existing there in all of us in all the creatures in all the beings in whatever is there animate or inanimate moving or unmoving that great lord has filled this in entire creation and from that lord this entire creation has evolved has got projected svakarmana tamabhyarcha now performing one's duty as his worship tam tamabhya tam abhyarcha performing one's duty as worship to that ultimate lord worship to that ultimate param brahman whatever has come to me i have to do this task fine i will do it not cribbing i will do it not oh with the feeling why this work has come to me how can i do it am i capable not with all those question marks but accepting the work that has come to my lot whole heartedly as the work that has been given to me by him and when i am performing that work that is a worship to him performing that work working on that project doing that particular task is the almighty's worship is the worship of the sachidananda brahman is the worship of that paramatman is the worship of that param brahman is the worship of that parama purusha svakarmana tamabhyarcham सिद्धिम विंदति माधव एंड वाइल डूइंग लाइक दिस वाइल डूइंग दैट वर्क एज वर्शिप टू दैट अल्टीमेट बींग आई एम परफॉर्मिंग दिस ग्रेट वर्शिप विद दैट एटीट्यूड वेन वन स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन द टास्क वर्किंग ऑन द वर्क दैट एज कम टू वन स्लॉट सिद्धिम विंदी माधव मानव सिद्धिम विंदी मानव द पर्सन द ह्यूमन बींग attains perfection so this is the great secret that shri krishna has shared with us it is not that we just randomly keep on getting the jobs that we have to do it is not that we the the uh, the jobs they come half as in a half as a manner to us that okay this fellow is sitting idle give him this job the job doesn't come like that the work doesn't come like that there is something in that person that that person only will be working on that work because of that something which is there in that person the swabhava that karma has come to that person now that person that karma having come should consider it as my work as swa karma arjuna has got the opportunity of waging the righteous war the war of mahabharata now he is running away giving thousands of excuses illogical excuses to shri krishna 
that this will happen, this will happen, this will happen, therefore I don't, I won't fight. And you look at my condition, I am getting fever, I, my limbs are uh, shaking, I am absolutely collapsing. Now all those illogical excuses having given, Sri Krishna knows that they are all flimsy excuses. There is no stuff in them because that is not the Swadharma of Arjuna. Arjuna's Swadharma is to fight the war and he is running away. And to make him understand that this is not the way of running away. You have to do your duty. You have to do your Swadharma. And this is your Swakarma to wage this war of righteousness against the unrighteousness. Wage this dharmic war against the adharma. And therefore Sri Krishna says that consider yourself to be fortunate enough that the one Paramapurusha who has created this entire creation, who is pervading this entire creation, has brought this work to you, has given this opportunity to you. To eliminate that unrighteousness, to eliminate that wickedness, to get rid of that immorality. Look at the great fortune you have. Almighty, the ultimate Paramapurusha is giving you this opportunity. Don't shun away. But consider it to be worship of that great being. Consider this work which has come to you as you are worshipping the great Lord. And then, while performing your work as worshipping the Parabrahman, while doing your duty, doing your own duty allotted to you, as worshipping the Paramatman, you will attain to perfection. This is the great uh, uh, secret. This is the, uh, uh, the, the, the wonderful way of attaining perfection that Shri Krishna has shown, shown to us. And in this regard, the, typically the example that is given is like, uh, you know, the, the coconut. Hmm? Consider the, uh, the, the, uh, the uh, kernel of the coconut as God. We have to attain to that Godhood. What, how we can attain? Not simply by thinking about, oh, there is a wonderful, uh, you know, creamy kind of uh, substance inside this coconut and I will eat it, I will have it, I will get to it, I will get to the Lord. Simply by thinking one may not, one has to work. That kernel inside the coconut is covered by that hard shell. That hard shell again is covered by that fibrous sheath. One has to pull those sheath. One has to get 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 rid of that outer uh, uh, fibrous sheath, and then that uh, the the uh, shell is exposed. Then simply looking at shell also, we won't get uh, the opportunity. We won't uh, have the uh, uh, the you know, fortune of eating that uh, wonderful uh, kernel inside. For that, we have to break open the uh, that hard shell. Only when we break open the hard shell, then we find that beautiful, white, creamy kind of the fleshy material, the kernel inside which we want to eat. We don't want to eat the uh, shell. We don't want to eat that fibrous sheath. It is of no use for us. But we have to work upon it. We have to pull that sheath. We have to break open that shell. Only then we get that kernel to eat, to enjoy its fleshy taste, to enjoy that beautiful uh, aroma that we get from that uh, uh, sweet uh, tasting uh, kernel of the coconut. But for that we have to work. And therefore Sri Krishna says, work. Working, removing the sheath of the coconut, cutting open the that the shell, that is the duty one has to perform. And consider that duty as the duty, as the worship of the Lord. Consider that duty, whatever has come to our Lord, as it is the worship of the Lord. I am worshipping the Lord by performing this duty. And only with that kind of attitude, when one takes up the work that has come to one's Lord as the worship to the ultimate, 
as obeisance to the ultimate. It is the ultimate worship that I can perform. I need not, uh, uh, you know, wave the incense sticks and wave the lamp. Not that kind of worship. Whatever karma has come to me, whatever is my swa karma, I will perform it as a worship. Because this karma has come to be in the domain of this great Paramatman. From whom has evolved this entire creation? From whom I have been evolved? From whom everything surrounding me is evolved? Who is pervading everything surrounding me? With this knowledge, with this understanding that he is the ultimate controller. He is the ultimate source. Mother, Divine Mother is the ultimate domain for all of us. She is pervading this entire creation. When we get to that understanding, then whatever work comes to us, we start performing that work like a worship to that Almighty. And the moment we start performing that work as worship to the Almighty, it automatically, it paves us the way for attaining that perfection. And it also paves, because then we are doing His work. We are doing the Mother's work. It is not my work. I am just an agency. I am just an instrument in doing this work. The Lord has chosen me to do this work. Lord wants this work to be done through me. It is that through me with that uh, uh, attitude. It is through me that understanding when event comes. We, we give up the ownership. And we become the true servants of that ultimate principle from whom this entire creation has pro been projected. And who is pervading this entire universe, who is pervading each and every particle of this entire creation. And then that work becomes worship. And when that work becomes worship, it paves the path towards perfection to us. So that was Sri Krishna's great uh, uh, message. It is a great teaching, sharing of that great secret of how we can attain to the state of perfection and become one with the Lord, in fact. Then we get to eat that kernel of the coconut after removing the sheath, fibrous sheath, after cutting open the shell. Then we get that beautiful, so, so tasty, hmm? so flavorful, the coconut inside, fully creamy, so nice to eat, so much enjoyable to eat it. So that is what uh, Sri Krishna tells uh, in this uh, 46th shloka that we have read that how to uh, transform our work to worship and get to the stage of perfection. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Sri Krishna Arpanamastu Jai Sri Ramakrishna Jai Thakur Jai Ma Jai Swami